Hello, my name is Sebastian. Today I'm casting with Fry. Hello. And we are casting game of Bakuryu and Zakfe. And Bakuryu is purple zerg in lower right corner and Zakfe is yellow toast in lower left corner. Um, I can't tell you much about um, these players. I'm pretty, it's, I'm pretty sure it is uh, amateur players. Um, yeah, Bakuryu is in other um, clans so he might be, might be a good player. Zakfa, I know his nickname from somewhere but I have no idea from where. I just got this replay from some place and now I'm casting it. Uh, as you can see this map is fighting spirit, it's pretty standard map <laughs> um, uh, to play. Well, it's very good map, so it's not much to say. Um, Zakta is getting um, Fez Expand right now. Bakur is probably also Fez Expanding. <laughs> um, like you can see some talk from server and the players. Um, what else can I say? <laughs> there wasn't. There was some problems with replay of the week recently because of lack of people to do it and but as you can see as you can see this week we are going to make weekly of the, of the week um there were many candidates for replay of the week because <laughs> there wasn't replay of the week for a long time so there was many replays incoming but most of these uh, replays were rather hmm, funny but not exactly something that there is any point on casting, you know, it's like, you know, a lot of mind control games and this kind of stuff. So it was interesting, but, you know, games that takes on for like 50 minutes is just boring at some point. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, Zakfa is getting fought first. Um, yeah. Not probably didn't notice that there is an expo on 6 o'clock. So yeah, yeah. I think the Zerg um, expanded up there because he thought that the probe will harass him to expand. So um, yeah, he just chooses to expand up there. Yeah, there are many Zergs that when some when <laughs> that they they leave when uh, Protoss put um, pylon in place of expansion. Yeah. They, they just leave. They are so pissed that they just <laughs> leave. And abuse the fact that it's so early you get a draw from this game. Draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, right now we have some pretty macro game incoming, as you can see. Um, Protoss finally spotted that expo on 6 o'clock. And yeah, some overlord tried to run for his life <laughs> he nearly <laughs> lost this overlord and we can see some zerpling run by he's going for cannon and cannon is going down there is nothing to defend from protoss right now all you can do is send out his um, probes but as you can see he's lose his first pylon that was energizing um, gateway and port so Protoss is not in the best moment at this point. I have to say that at this point, if I would have to, you know, put put um, into fight so many probes and I would lose my first uh, pylon, I would just leave the game at this point. I would just leave it. Ah, fuck it, because it's, it's like impossible to do anything at this point. I'm also, also surprised that, you know, Zerg probably could just... Uh, <laughs> Only in Zerg links at this point because it's yeah, Protoss don't have anything to do, deal with it. Um, but yeah, hmm. as we can see, well, Zerg is getting for hatchery right now, um, and he's getting more drones. So <laughs> instead, he's going for a more economical than aggressive play. Hmm. Yes. So I wonder how Protoss is going to handle it right now. And what else can I see? I can't see any tech right now. I can see finally a tractor from mm, Zerg. Um, 
Well, Protoss is getting some standard <laughs> stuff. <laughs> it's not like he can do anything. Yeah, there's not much to talk about right now. Um, what can I talk about? Well, it's Fighting Spirit. It's very, it's very great game. Probably most of um, epic games are on Fighting Spirit. Um, since everyone played this map, and yeah. But on other hand, I'm not, I'm not surprised that everyone played this map because you now it's difficult to suddenly learn to play on different map. Well, Zerg is getting some additional hatcheries. He still don't get any any tech. I can't see any tech. Um, <laughs> yeah. And Protoss is getting standard Stargate and Citadel of Adun. He should get a second guess anytime soon, but I still can't <laughs> see any. Um, oh, Zerg fine and he's getting glare. But he's a bit slow on guess, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> and yeah. Protoss is trying to keep his probe alive. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and this probe is going to live another day. <laughs> yeah, unless Zerg is going all in Link, <laughs> then he won't. But Protoss have probably enough Zilots to hold off any kind of Zergian aggression right now. Um, yeah. Zar is getting lair, so... Oh, and he drives them. Mm. Yeah, and he gets speed for Hydralis. <coughs> oh, yeah. This Overlord finally is dying. He was very close to dying some time ago. And yeah. Mm. So he finally dies. Yeah, and Zerg makes another expansion. Yeah, apparently. But uh, Proto decided to get only one Corsair out. But funny part is that since Zerg is solo on anti-air, this one Corsair might be able to actually kill two Overlords. Yeah. Because he's very close. He might. Uh, ah, so no. close. So <laughs> close. Yeah, but he probably will try to hunt it down later. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised that that Zerg is not much more, uh, you know, informed econ economically than the Protoss, because Zerg is getting a lot of draws right now. He's getting another expansion. Mm. <laughs> Hmm. Is it this five hatch build? I was wonder because I read. I don't know. <laughs> five hatch it actually might be from battery. Uh, no idea. It might be. Yeah, it's common because usually I get some kind of briefing into replace. And <laughs> <laughs> this time I have no briefing. No idea what I'm watching right now. But it's only this time. Next time I would try to do it more. Um, more professional. <laughs> It's not like I ever do it professionally, it just would be better next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Protoss is going for a kill. He's going. There's a very no defense in this expansion, and. Yeah, he's trying to kill this hatchery. There's also a lot of uh, drones in this expansion. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and it's down. Yeah, he was able to kill this hatchery, so Protoss is very good at coming back in this game. Okay. And at the same time, there is another expansion on 1 o'clock, and... Yeah, Pro Protoss will just try to keep alive his zealots. And he's surprisingly good at it. Mm -hmm. his zealots are, he lose like 1 or 2 maybe. There is more Zillas incoming, um, and now he's getting some high templars and more gates. Yeah, and another group of Zillas is going for the upper expansion. Yes, yeah, it's very nice how he just ran around these uh, yeah. Hydras, because <laughs> these Hydras will just demolish the Zillas. 
and he was able to just sneak in into uh, one o'clock expansion of Zerg and he's again go for hatchery so I'm afraid that Zerg might, might lose another hatchery yeah of course this Hydras is coming for a rescue but it's very close is he going to make it? it's red Going down and another yeah. hatcher going down. <laughs> My God, two hatcheries just went down. So after losing first pylon, <laughs> Protoss was able to kill two hatcheries. So <laughs> well, I hope it's going to be better right now for Protoss. Um, he's still not getting any more uh, curved serves. So yeah. And there's Spire out from Zerg, so maybe he will try to abuse the fact that Protoss is, have literally no anti-air at this point. Uh, meanwhile, also Protoss is trying to secure um, his second expansion. He gets some cannons, he moves some army over there. Well, this High Tempest probably would be enough to hold off this um, Hydras, although there's a lot of Hydras out. <laughs> But at the same time, there is much more drones out, so yeah. Oh, Protoss gets some Archon to have any kind of anti air at this point. Um, and some guns, so this probably will be fine. Hmm, a lot of hmm, larva at Zerg base. Um, yeah, and the Mutas are killing now a bit of the Protoss economy. Where because I can't. Ah, yeah, in, in, mid yeah. in main base. I One Templar, know. two Templars. Wow. Okay. And three Templars. Ah, oh. oh, oh. Ooh, I and guess four Templars and perhaps ten probes, so not bad. Oh, another great storm. And here, Protoss is trying to hold off this wall. I completely didn't notice this attack by Mutas. Yeah, because this purple color on the minimap is a bit hard to see. <laughs> but that? Yeah, he killed 10 probes, I guess. Oh, well, that's nice. And now. Hmm, now Protoss is running away with his probes. But yeah. Protoss has probably <laughs> enough of army to deal with it. Yeah, he's trying to, you know, use his cannons to defend his probe. Um, yeah, he should hold it. Yeah. But. Yeah, this mutas was nice because um, Zerg was able to kill some high templars with this mutas. Yeah. But at the same time, there was a very big storm on these mutas, and Zerg lose all of his mutas to this one storm. Um, right now, uh, Zerg is getting a lot of lurkers suddenly. Yeah. From out of nowhere, there is, you know, like 10 lurkers out. And like, yeah, he's going for contain. Um, and he has no observer, Protoss. I can see one. Well, there is observer <coughs> tech, but but yeah, no, but no yeah. observer. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe he get on soon. Probably, probably wasn't sure there won't be any lurkers out, but yeah. now he probably know. <laughs> yeah. Very nice containment of of lurkers in front of this fat bridge and yeah it's it'd be very difficult for for Protoss to deal with it. There are some scourges out to hunt down any the observer. And yeah. This first uh, observer out finally. And Protoss is getting some more guns to deal with these lurkers. Yeah, at the same time there is no aggression on the second expo toss. And Proton is trying to break the campaign. He just loses his first um, observer, but he get another one. So he should be fine right now. He's getting some more uh, zealots right now. He's on three bases, but he's still on only five gates. I'm a bit surprised by it. Well, now he gets more gates recently. Um, yeah, and he's trying to break it, but there is more Hydras incoming, so he has to move back. Meanwhile, Zerg decided to expand again. 